coming up in this episode, getting a new turbo, installing bow thruster and doing more electrical work. And the mattresses went from this to this. And more new toys are arriving. You have to be prepared for theft while buying anything from the auction. Welcome back everyone, um, I'm very excited right now, we are here to pick up our turbo, finally got rebuilt. It only took a couple of days, so I'm really excited, thanks to Gulf Coast Diesel Services, let's go. I installed a bow thruster and I had to redo the electrical connections because they were way too corroded and I didn't want to take any chances. Here I'm applying corrosion protective paint. in here I started going through every connection checking every relay so like these little relays they all have to be replaced and uh, I will have to do the redo the electrical connections and almost every single one of them um, I cleaned out these big connectors and cleaned out this whole area I'm gonna take everything apart clean it up um, take care of the rust replace all the relays and put it back together for it. Um, right now I'm cleaning up the rust off of this and then I'm gonna spray, I'm waiting for it to dry up. Um, I'm gonna spray it with the corrosion protective coat so it doesn't rust anymore after this. There's really not enough room in here. progress here so I cut off these two bolts they were seized so I got these off and I'm ordering that from uh, Italy uh, found one on eBay that uh, was the only place I found and then these relays here this one is broken here I found one in uh, Italy some Italian company I'm trying to get a hold of them um, um, because uh, on the website um, minimum $30 um, worth and this one is uh, hundred thirty dollars and they only have one so I'm kind of stuck in the pickle I can't order it because it's under a minimum and they only have one in stock so <laughs> I'm I'm working on that uh, over here I still have one more to grind off because this one is stuck um, and I can't remove and clean up in here until I get that out so I'll have to grind it off kind of hard to do that with uh, one hand to film and grind so I'll catch with, back with you after I'm done. Okay, so I got it off. 
and it explains why this was spinning through the casing is a little cracked right there so I'll have to solder that plastic there and then it's pretty hot so I can't touch it with my hands there's the fuse Whew. one more thing completed okay a little update on the electrical panel here so cleaned up all the connections as you can see all nice and shiny there it is so waiting for a couple more things uh, that are at the house to put them in and then I still gotta figure out what those are and I don't know if they work or not so I'll fix things when they're broken for right now I don't know if they are this thing is broken for sure but I don't know about that yet so and then I have a new one of these just gotta figure out how to take it off And the mattresses went from this went to this kind of a funny story i was using all kinds of uh, products that i purchased from many different places i was rubbing and scrubbing and uh, nothing was really working um, so i just left them overnight over here and in the morning i come out and the spots are gone and they look so much <laughs> cleaner <laughs> So I don't know what it was, but if only everything on this boat just kind of fixed itself overnight. shipment of stuff and this is partially we have a few more items coming in from uh, West Marine uh, and that's gonna be next week so right now we got our GPS plotter Ray Marine very new and this one has all kinds of connections here in the back power accessories and video ins and outs and network and all kinds of things but I'll have to figure all that out later um, I know I do know that we have this power plug there and I have seen these as well and I have seen two of these so I don't know which one goes where just yet I'll have to read the instructions later but it comes with the wires and a few other things in here and those just some of the items that were stolen off of the boat including the speakers and we got a set of four speakers and one subwoofer and these are the subwoofers a 10 inch and these are the 7.7 inch marine and these do have lights in there I don't know if we'll connect connect them or not if I can uh, figure out how to connect them I will but I'm not too worried about that so so I just came back from the sheriff's office I had to file a theft report as some of you may know um, the dinghy that was in the Azima it got stolen along with a bunch of other stuff speakers uh, the Ray Marine uh, screen um, and uh, a few other things uh, along um, so it disappeared um, sometime during the auction when I was purchasing the boat. I don't even know what the dinghy looked like because it was inside uh, the garage area. So, um, but nonetheless, I got the papers, but no dinghy. So hopefully that shows up, but no guarantee. We'll see. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll go over some of the things that are missing on the boat as well. I was gonna show you guys some of the things that were stolen off the boat. 
So the dinghy is one of the things that got stolen. And then the, the speakers, as you can see right here, right here. Um, and then, um, come on forward over here. So all the, all the electronics at the helm. Uh, but this was before the auction though, or during when it was sitting there. Um, but I already knew it when I was buying it. So the screen, uh, all the engine um, gauges, autopilot, uh, the radio, the front, the lights up front. Somebody really needed those. <laughs> and the last thing, uh, inside the engine room, there's a big fire hydrant. It's like an automatic one that if there's fire or heat, it deploys. So that's also missing. A quick update on the Audi R8. Um, that's in the process of being put together. My friend uh, Vitali in Washington State is helping me out with that. But it's waiting for me to come over and finish putting it back together. Um, but the delay was the parts were coming in from uh, Germany. And that took two months for the frame and a few other parts to come in. Um, and now it's been uh, fixed. I mean, like the frame. Uh, it's painted and it's ready to be final assembly uh, so we're, we're gonna be in Washington um, this month in a couple of weeks uh, and we will be able to put together and you guys will see the update later so stay tuned we hope you like our videos please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week hopefully soon we'll be out there on the water